Okay, in this drawing we're going to go through question 9 on page 78 which is a a prism with a pentagon tilted at an angle. So I'll start by just drawing our XY line along here and it's going to be cut by an oblique plane. So I'll take a little mark there on the top of it the trace on the vertical plane is 30 degrees and on the horizontal it's 45. There we go. We'll get these set up first. Now, the first bit of information I have is I do know that the bottom of the pentagon is 130 from this point here. So I'll measure that out now. 130. Here we go. It's on a plane that is 60 degrees to the XY line. So I'm just going to draw this out as a construction line now. And the bottom of the pentagon would be perpendicular to that. Don't know how far this goes, but we'll draw it out for the moment. The length of the prism is 100, so I can get that set up straight away. Draw along here up to 100. Now, in order to see the end, I'm actually going to do a true shape of the pentagon at the end. So we'll skip over here to give ourselves a bit of space. The bottom of the pentagon is 30 mil. So there we go. I'm going to get our protractor and draw out our pentagon. So we'll come around 72 degrees, 360 divided by 5. And that's one line there. This next one is going to be here. Around 72 degrees, gone a little off the page. I'll just make a mark on my board and I connect, can connect up to that. The side of the pentagon is 30 millimeters long. So I can now find out where that corner is and where this corner is, which fortunately fits on the page. Around by 72 degrees again. There we go. And by 72. Okay, so that's my tree shape, and now it makes it very easy to draw the rest of the pieces. We can project down along from here. From that corner, and from the top. I'll just go over that slightly heavier now. I have my outline. That's my elevation done. Now for the plan, we can we know we're coming down 35 millimeters to the edge, so I can measure that out now. Use this set square because it's a slightly better size. So I'll set that to 65 millimeters. So we're down 35 initially, brings us to 30. And another 30 for the edge of the pentagon brings us down here to zero. I'm going to do some construction lines. I can go right across the plane because I know I'm going to be projecting across this plane later on anyway. There we go. The base of the pentagon, this end. It's going to be projected down from here. So that's my base right there. And again, I'm going to do a true shape of the pentagon. So I'm just going to come out a little bit, give myself some space. Get my retractor and draw another pentagon. 
72 and around by 72 connect the dots at each end side is 30 millimeters and then from here we got another 72 there and from this point here There we have it. <laughs> now we actually have a little error in this one and I can see that quite clearly because if I look at the 15mm point halfway along the base, which would be here, I should be having the point of my pentagon there and I don't. So we'll go back and see if we track that error. That side's gone a fair bit too long so I suspect one of these two angles is out. We'll check our angles again. Strap there. <laughs> That's fine. That one's fine there. And that angle is not happy. So we just go back and change this quickly. <laughs> there we go, around 72. Along 30 millimeters. Now we get the 72 again. And it looks like a much happier pentagon. And there we are, that's lining up lovely. So now we can project along here, each of the corners. So construction line right across here, and again I'm going all the way to the plane because I know we'll be projecting to the plane in the second half of the question. All the way along there. Now I just need to come down from the sky, from the elevation. It doesn't reach, so we're going to use 45 degrees. So there. There and there is where this edge is going to go to. The next point we have is the top vertex there, which is here. And that's going to come down along it. Just down along there. Nice light construction line. edges are going to cross and again that's my vertex at the end. <laughs> Take a construction line from it in the center here all the way across again all the way to the plane and now it's just a case of connecting all the dots. You can see as I'm drawing this that this isn't a true shape of the pentagon because it's inclined at an angle. Now we're going to go from there, which is there, to the tip, which is here. And the same on the other side. can go our horizontal lines in now, nice and easily. Right. 
There we go. If I wanted to draw hidden lines, I could just continue in the same way, but I'm not going to put, it, put them in because I don't need them at the moment. So that's the first part. Now we have our plan and elevation done before the cut.